In this short video, we are going to talk about slope fields. So we've been working with differential equations, and we know that a differential equation will give us the slope of the solution at a specific point, x comma y, because of course the derivative is the slope of the curve at that point. So a slope field is essentially just a collection of very short line segments that represent the slope of the solutions at each of those points. Now, what's the purpose of this? The purpose is that it gives us a general shape of the graph and it can help us to find the particular solution or the curve that we can expect once we know a particular solution. We're not going to go in depth into slope fields because typically we're going to use technology to create a slope field and most of the questions that I'm going to ask you are simply match the slope field with its differential equation. But let's go ahead and take a look at how you would construct this by hand and we're not going to do the whole slope field. Obviously um, that would be a bit mundane, but let's get an idea of the process that you would go through. We're going to create a slope field for the differential equation y prime equals x plus y. Yes, I chose an easy one on purpose because I didn't want to work that hard. So this is the differential equation and all we're going to do is we're going to draw a line segment that has the slope of the value of y prime for each x, y value. For instance, if x were 0 and y were 0, so that's the point 0, 0, 0 plus 0 is 0 and a slope of 0 looks like this. If I added, say, 1 and negative 1, so x is 1, y is negative 1, that's the point right here, again 1 plus negative 1 is 0, so I can see that that would be 0 and this would be 0 and this would be 0 and there's a bit of a pattern. I could do the same for, say, 1, 0. So 1 plus 0 is 1, and a slope of 1 is a segment that has a 45 degree angle. And again, this would be that same segment. And we can see that quite often, if you were to create a slope field, you would have a pattern just as we're seeing here. If I took the point negative 1, 0, that's the point right here. Negative 1 plus 0 is, of course, negative 1, and negative 1 has a 45 degree angle, obviously, in the opposite direction. And I can see, again, that there would be a pattern. So I'm not going to continue this because, again, it would be silly to um, just keep making this myself. Typically, what's going to happen is we are going to have technology create the slope field for us. So we can see here that this is a slope field that has been created by technology. Again, what is the point of a slope field? Well, once we know what our initial condition is, we can get a very good idea about what our curve is going to look like. So we can see that we would have many, many different curves that we could draw and just knowing what that um, initial condition is would help us to know what that curve is going to look like. Coming up next, we're going to move on to section 6.2 of our textbook and we're going to take a look at solving differential equations by separation of variables.